What is a badass quote from history that sticks out to you? They've got us surrounded again, the poor bastards, Creighton Abrams at the Chosin Reservoir. A fool is the man who kills the father and leaves the child so that he may take revenge. Aristotle During World War II, General Eisenhower told General Patton to bypass the German city of Trier because it would take it. Least four army divisions to capture it. Patton wrote back, have taken Trier with two divisions. What do you want me to do? Give it back. Quote. Glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever, Napoleon. Greater than I am the punishment of God, if you had not committed great sins. God would not have sent a punishment like me upon you. Genghis Khan. Literally getting roasted alive for his beliefs. St. Lawrence. Turn me over. I'm done on this side. Just got shot in the chest. Friends. I shall ask you to be as quiet as possible. I don't know whether you understand I've just been shot. It takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Teddy Roosevelt continues to finish speech for another hour before going to hospital. I see that you have made three spelling mistakes. These were the final words of Marquis de Favres upon reading his death warrant before being hanged. For high treason, that's my kind of dude. Y'all. You don't win a war by dying for your country. You win by making the other poor bastard die for theirs. Quote. General Patton. Asterisk, asterisk, you must not fear death. My lads, defy him. And you drive them into the enemy's ranks. Asterisk, asterisk. Napoleon Bonaparte. I do not fear death for I had been dead for billions and billions of years before I was born in had not suffered the slightest inconvenience from it. Mark Twain, who was actually full of awesome quotes. If you are the Sultan, come and lead your armies. If I am the Sultan, I hereby order you to come and lead my armies, Mehmed II. His father had previously abdicated, thereby making Mehmed II the new Sultan. In the period leading up to the Battle of Varna, 1444, Mehmed II was still new to the throne, young, and inexperienced, and needed someone to lead his army. He had approached his retired father pleading for him to lead the Ottoman army against the Christian crusaders, but he refused because he had already abdicated the title of sultan and thus felt he had no more obligation to lead the armies. This quote is what Mehmed II needed to say to his father to convince him to lead the armies one last time. Retreat? Hell. We just got here. Major Lloyd Williams before the U.S. Marines entered Billow Wood after routing the Germans into the woodland in 1918. John Calhoun. If you secede from my country I'll secede your head from the rest of your body. Tilda President Andrew, the psycho, Jackson. There are approximately 1,010,300 words in the English language. But I could never string enough words together to properly explain how much I want to hit you with. A chair. Alexander Hamilton to Thomas Jefferson. When tyranny becomes law, resistance becomes duty. Thomas Jefferson. I have not yet begun to fight. John Paul Jones when asked to surrender to the British Army. The Soviets kept sending assassins to kill Yugoslavia's leader, Josip Broz Tito, and they kept failing. Tito sent Stalin a telegram saying something along the lines of stop sending assassins. We have caught five of them already. If you don't stop sending assassins, I will send one to kill you and I will not have to send another. One German panzer is worth four of theirs. But they always brought five. Hitler said something like that in reference to American tanks versus Nazi panzer tanks. When you are going throughout hell, keep going. Asterisk Winston Churchill. A man who views the world the same at 50 as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. Muhammad Ali. Through if be to die. We will fight. 
We will fight not for ourselves but for future generations. Although we will not survive to see it, our murderers will pay for their crimes after we are gone, and our deeds will live forever. Isaac Katz Nelson, one of the leaders of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. These people fought with their backs against the wall, simply so that they could die with dignity. More weight. When a Russian officer was talking to Napoleon Bonaparte, he said, We Russians fight for honor. You French fight only for gain. To which Napoleon replied saying, You are quite right. Each fights for that which he does not possess. Never has so much been owed by so many to so few. Winston Churchill to the RAF during the Battle of Britain. I have not yet begun to fight. Quote. John Paul Jones. As his ship was sinking, he then rammed his ship into the British ship so his ship wouldn't sink boarded the British ship, and took it over. The one-word reply by the commander of surrounded American forces at Bastogne to the German demand for surrender. Nuts. Quote. Come on you sons of bitches, do you want to live forever? The wheels of history are turned by blood alone, Mussolini. Philip sent a message to the Spartans saying, if I invade Laconia you will be destroyed, never to rise again. The Spartans replied with one word, asterisk asterisk if asterisk asterisk. I believe that forgiving them is God's function. Our job is simply to arrange the meeting. General Norman Schwarzkopf. Lady Nancy Astor, to Winston Churchill, if you were my husband, I would poison your tea. Quote, Churchill, Nancy. If I were your husband, I would drink it. Quote. No friend ever served me, and no enemy ever wronged me, whom I have not repaid in full. Lucius Cornelius Sulla, Roman general and statesman. He who has a wide live can bear almost any how. Nietzsche. The Nazis entered this war under the rather childish delusion that they were going to bomb everyone else. And nobody was going to bomb Themis here at Rotterdam, London, Warsaw, and half a hundred other places. They put their rather naive theory into operation. They sowed the wind, and now they are going to reap the whirlwind. An old joke about Calvin Coolidge, https en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Calvin underscore Coolidge. When he was president, https en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash president underscore of underscore the underscore united underscore states the president and mrs coolidge https en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash grace underscore coolidge were being shown separately around an experimental government farm as year when mrs coolidge came to the chicken yard she noticed that a rooster was mating very frequently. She asked the attendant how often that happened and was told. Dozens of times each day, Mrs. Coolidge said. Tell that to the president when he comes by, upon being told. The president asked, same hen every time. The reply was, oh, no, Mr. President, a different hen every time. President, tell that to Mrs. Coolidge. There, King George will be able to read that. John Hancock, Declaration of Independence Signature. When you sit with a nice girl for two hours you think it's only a minute. But when you sit on a hot stove for a minute, you think it's two hours. That's relativity. The genius Albert Einstein. Benny, Vidi, VC. I came, I saw, I conquered. Julius Caesar. We will count them. When we beat them, Paulus Amick, Jack Ikpobijam, Jen Carol Trudkovich before battle under Karakom, where are 3,600 Polish soliders, 2,600 hussars, fought against 11,000 Swedes and totally wrecked them while suffering 100 deaths, while Swedes suffered from 6,000 to 9,000 deaths. I only regret that I have one life to lose for my country, Nathan Hale right before he was hanged.
by the British during the American Revolution. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one which we intend to win. Gives me chills hearing the recording every time. After Woods Rogers took over New Providence Island he set off to execute several persons guilty of the act of piracy, asked to repent of the wickedness they had done in the world before execution by hanging one, answered, yes, I do heartily repent, I repent I had not done more mischief, in that that we did not cut the throats of them that took us, and I am extremely sorry that you ain't all hang it as well as we. Are you ready? Okay, let's roll. In hash X200B, Todd Beamer, on United Airlines Flight 93, before he and other passengers stormed the cockpit to divert the plane after the hijacking. I can't imagine how terrified they were in that moment and his bravery in those words makes my hair stand on end. Better we should die on our feet than live on our knees. Francois Noel Gracious Bay Buff, 1797. It is not the critic who counts. Not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles. Or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. Whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. Who strives valiantly. Who errs. Who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error in shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Theodore Roosevelt Patterning your life around others' opinions is nothing more than slavery, Loana Blackwell. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. John Steinbeck Not quite badass, but it's good wordplay. Charles James Napier was a major general who was tasked to quell rebellions in the Indian province of Sindh. Instead of doing that, he conquered the province. Following the conquest he sent a short message to his superiors. Pakavi, which translates to, I have sinned. I have sinned. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. We do what we cannot because it is easy, but because it is hard. JFK If God is real, he will have to beg me for forgiveness. Scratched into the walls of a concentration camp.